Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about Bob Suite proxy that how we can use Bob Suite as a proxy. So you can see over here that there is one tab in Bob Suite called as proxy tab. So proxy tab is mainly used for intercepting our request. So what, what proxy tab will do? It will intercept all the requests which is being sent by our browser. So proxy tab have small different different sub tabs which you can see over here like like intercept, HTTP history, options, WebSocket history. So with the help of intercept tab, we can check out whether our intercept is on and off. If intercept is on, which means we will intercept our request. If intercept is off, then our request will not go through the Bob suite. It will just go directly to the web server. Then there is one more tab that is HTTP history. So HTTP history tab actually takes a record or just keep a record of all the requests which is being intercepted by our Bob suite. There is one request of WebSocket history and there is one more tab of options. So at options tab, we can actually configure our Bob suite that on which particular IP or on which port our Bob suite will listen for all the requests. Now let's see how we can use Bob suite proxy tab in our system. Now let's try to intercept our HTTP request by using Bob suite proxy tab. So you can see over here that my Bob suite is up and running and I have also started my OS broken web application. So the IP address of OS broken web application is 192.168.0.145. Now let's open this IP address in Mozilla Firefox. So you can see over here the OS broken web application project page and here you can see a lots of vulnerable web applications. Now, as I told you earlier, by using Burp Suite proxy tab, we can actually intercept our HTTP request and we can figure out that what kind of request it is, what kind of HTTP method it's using and what kind of parameters are being passed along with that request. So the first thing we have to do is we first have to click on proxy tab and below this proxy tab you can see the sub tabs which are inside the proxy tab. So you can see over here intercept tab, HTTP history, WebSockets history and options. So by default you can see over here that intercept is on means we will intercept our HTTP request. So if you just want to make this intercept off so simply just click over it and you can see the intercept is off. Now in order to figure out that on which particular port and on which particular IP our burp suite is actually listening we first have to click on options. So you can see over here proxy listeners which means our Bob suite is currently listening on IP address 127.0.0.1 which is actually localhost IP address and the port is 8080 which ensures us that our Bob suite is up and running and it's listening on localhost IP address and the port is 8080. Now what we have to do we have to configure network setting of our browser so that our request which is being sent by our browser will first go through the Bob suite and then it's totally upon us whether we want to send that request to the server or we just simply want to drop that request. So first of all let's make the intercept on. Now let's try to configure browser network settings. So I recommend you guys that please use Mozilla Firefox because it's best for the security testing. So what you have to do here is you have to click over here and here is one options menu. So let me go there. So right now you can see that we are at journal tab and if you just go at the bottom here is an option of network proxy so just click on settings so by default our mozilla firefox works by use system proxy settings but what we have to do we have to click on manual proxy configuration and here we have to write down a localhost ip address that is 127.0.1 and here we have to specify a port and that was 8080 so and please don't forget to check this check button. So by just checking this button it make Bob suite to intercept HTTPS request also. So now click on OK. Let me go back and now just let's click on OS Mutily Day. And you can see over here that as soon as we have clicked on OS Mutily Day here we are actually intercepting our HTTP request. So you can see over here that this is how your HTTP request looks like. So you can see here the HTTP method is get and here you can see the URL that is mutilide and here you can see the user agent. 
you can see a refrar even you can see cookie and if you want to see the parameters just click over here expand it you can see there are two parameters which are being sent by this request and that two parameters are actually present inside our cookie you can see the header even you can see the hex value so if you click on forward then you can see that our OS Mutilde vulnerable web application is open just for the example let me go back and let's click on OS Mutilde one more time and now this time you will see that kind of request so just for example if you don't want to open that website or you just simply want to drop that request so you just have to click on drop so so you can see over here that at the background it's saying error request was dropped by user so this is how we can actually intercept HTTP request by using burp suite proxy tab but the thing to be noticed is that by default configuration of burp suite is to only intercept HTTP traffic so what if like you want to intercept the HTTP request on some website which is actually running on HTTPS so in that case we have to install burp suite SSL certificate because we have to trust burp suite so now let me show you one example so let's say we open tutorialspoint.com and you can see over here that is giving us an error your connection is not secure so the first thing we have to do is we have to install burp suite SSL certificate so how we can do that we just simply have to write HTTP followed by burp and you can see over here a burp suite menu and on the right hand side here is an option of CA certificate so now let me install the certificate let me open it up and you can see over here that this CA root certificate is not trusted but we just have to import and install the certificate so you can see over here issued by ports figure and install certificate so here is an option whether you want to install the certificate on a local machine or for a current user so let it be current user click on next next and click on finish and you can see over here it's give us a message that the import was successful so click on OK and now we have successfully installed SSL certificate of Burp Suite now what we have to do just simply hit enter and forward the request go to advanced click on add exception and confirm security exception so you can see over here let's say let's open videos and you can see over here that we are successfully able to intercept HTTPS traffic so you can see a small lock over here and even if you just read this URL it's saying HTTPS www.tutorialspoint.com and port is 443 so this is how we can even intercept HTTPS traffic by using Bob Suite proxy tab so in the coming videos we will see that how we can use spider tab scanner tab intruder tab and repeater tab but the thing to be noticed is that in order to use all these tabs we have to make sure that our proxy tab is up and running because in order to use intruder tab repeater tab we have to send our HTTP request to that tab so that's why it's necessary that our proxy tab must be up and running so in this video we saw that how we can use proxy tab in order to intercept our HTTP request which is being sent by our browser to the server so thanks for watching this video